Got some issues here where our gauges aren't working. We've got our uh, alt gauge works, but none of these three are working here. This is aftermarket, and I put a few aftermarket gauges over here. This one isn't working either. So we're gonna get underneath the hood there and go take a look. Down here at the back of the truck, we get to try and get in here so you can see this is the uh, sending unit for the fuel level and there's two wires there. there's going to be a blue one coming up from the front comes back to the sending unit and a white one and that white one in this in this uh, wire here it's going to run along the frame rail and it comes back here and it bolts to the frame somewhere back here I believe right there and so an easy fix usually for the uh, fuel gauge will be to simply clean up your ground. Uh, it'll get all corroded and, and broken wires and stuff like that. So slip under the truck, see if you find any broken wires, clean up that ground real good. And um, usually that'll be a quick fix for that. Here we are at the back. This is where that ground uh, grounds out against the frame. So just remove your bolt and uh, clean up the frame and uh, you know, use some sandpaper or something, clean that up, get a good uh, ground connection. Down below here, we've got the oil pressure sending unit. The factory gauge is the, is the wire to this electrical uh, sending unit. And then we've got an aftermarket tube that uh, will take the manual reading for the, uh, the separate gauge I have up there for, for that. So again, what we're doing is we're checking for grounds, uh, remove your components. Uh, there's some Teflon tape that was in there. You don't want Teflon tape that interferes with the ground. So remove that sending unit, clean it all up, put it back in, try to get a, a good ground on there. Up top here, we've got our, this is our accessory gauge. This is a, a probe that screws down in there and uh, again, another mechanical physical connection all the way back to the gauge. This here is our orange wire, which is for our factory temperature sensor that's gonna come and it can, in this case, I've got two of them here. You can plug it into either one for these. Sending units. And uh, same as down below there. You want to remove those if there's any uh, Teflon tape or anything like that. Clean them all up, put them back in. What we're doing first is we're we're trying to establish good ground connections on all of the gauges. Now that we uh, checked out all our sending units for all the gauges and uh, checked all the grounds, we want to make sure that our ground from the battery to those sending units is good, which means we need to have everything grounded out. We need to have uh, the engine the engine grounded out we want the frame grounded out and we want our body grounded out so I have a series of ground wires here this one is going from the block to the frame I have another one from the frame to the body right down here and I have my battery negative straight to the block which is also connected to all those other components so now that we've uh, We've checked all of our grounds, confirmed they're all good. Uh, we could go back and see if we've fixed the problem with our gauges. So after checking all the grounds on there, um, we, we still don't have any working gauges. So uh, it's highly unlikely that we have three components with bad sending units. So we don't have fuel, we don't have oil, and we don't have the temp gauge. The alternator works and you need to realize the reason that the alternator works is because it's connected directly from the battery. There's going to be two wires that connect directly to the alternator. That's why that one works and the other three don't work. So uh, we're going to be pulling this gauge cluster out and we're going to take another look at this thing. So with our uh, instrument cluster taken out of the vehicle here and referencing our book, uh, they really didn't have anything in there for information. The only clue that we kind of have is right here where it's kind of, it says uh, 12 volt and 5 volt. 
Um, that's this piece right here, which is a uh, voltage limiter. And then this uh, condenser hooks up to the ground on there. And um, my understanding of a condenser is basically, it's, uh, it's kind of like a filter. It filters the electricity and uh, kind of smooths things out. So uh, I, don't, I don't think these go bad. And I, I haven't really before ever experienced one of these going bad, but um, I'm going to replace that and see if that fixes our problem. Um, we checked all our gauges. We, we went with the 12 volt battery here and we would hook up our, our uh, negative and a positive. And then it would, what it does is it sweeps, it'll sweep the gauge the other way when you add that power. So it'll sweep the gauge uh, to the other side, and that tells you that uh, the gauges are working. So we're satisfied that the gauges are working. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna change that out and see if that makes a difference. Okay, after we've changed that uh, voltage limiter, now uh, we still don't have anything. And uh, what you're supposed to be able to do is you're supposed to check because that voltage limiter is basically pulsing the uh, power, right? You can't have 12 volts to the gauges, so it reduces the 12 volts down to 5 volts. So in, uh, how it accomplishes that is uh, it's, it kind of pulses. And so a check with that is with the uh, test light hooked up to a uh, battery negative. And then you're supposed to put your uh, probe, your uh, sending unit wire, and you should be able to see a pulse with the test light. Uh, so we're not seeing a pulse, right? Okay, so that's that's our wire to the sending unit. So let's go let's go right back to the to the uh, wiring harness here. And if you look, if you can see this orange wire at the top there that's our sending sending unit to uh, the temperature gauge so we probe that we're still not getting anything uh, below that is the sending unit wire for the oil pressure gauge so we're probing that we're not getting anything there and this top blue wire should be that should be the wire to our uh, fuel sending unit. And we probe that and we're again, not getting anything. So we have another issue here that we got to find. So last we, uh, we changed out our uh, voltage limiter and we put everything back together and we still didn't have, um, we didn't have any power. Uh, we checked it with the test light. There's supposed to be a blinking. There was no blinking. So uh, we have to chase that down. So what we found out was there's this black and white wire that goes to this fuse here. And that ends up going to, I think it's this one here, which ends up being C on uh, I think it was A, B, C on there, which ends up going to, I believe that is the 12 volt side of the um, voltage limiter. So that's 12 volts coming in. And then this thing, it, it like pulses. And then it, it turns the 12 volts into five to feed the gauges. And if we look at our schematic here on uh, C, that's that uh, white black wire. And then we trace that down and it ends up being that fuse right there. So we had a break in the wire there. So we, uh, we fixed that and we tried again. And what we had was our um, oil pressure gauge was pinned. So we go and uh, what I did was with that oil pressure gauge pinned, I just ran a wire straight from the firewall all the way down to the oil pressure sending unit. <clears throat> so 
So this was the factory wire that we had. So the first thing I did was I, I just ran a wire straight from the firewall to the sending unit and the gauge was still pinned. This was the old sending unit. So I took that one out and I put this one in, tried it again, and now uh, it seemed to be working properly. So we changed that out. After we changed out that uh, sending unit for the oil pressure, now uh, we come back in here and we wanna check, we wanna check our pins. So this top pin here, this is, uh, this is for the temperature gauge. And now it's blinking like it's supposed to be blinking. And then uh, we come in, this one here is for the oil gauge. And it's blinking like it's supposed to. And then I came in here and I hit that pin and I didn't have any blinking. That was for the, um, the fuel gauge. So before it wasn't blinking. And so that's on the firewall side. Uh, we've got to find out what the problem is. It's not, it's not the sending unit because we've disconnected our sending unit side here. So this is, this is the gauge side. This is the firewall. So I changed out the fuel gauge and then we got it blinking like it's supposed to. Inside the cab, we can check this gauge cluster. And so the first thing we did was we changed that uh, voltage limiter and uh, we've got our condenser in there. Um, so we changed it. We still didn't have uh, any, any power to the gauges because when we checked it with the test light, it wasn't blinking. So that ended up being this wire here, this black and white one which uh, goes to the 12 volt pin side of uh, the voltage limiter. So we found, we cherry sat back, we found there's a break in that wire. We made that repair, we came back. And uh, now on the inside here, we can, we can check with our test light. So this, this is the ground strap on the uh, voltage limiter. So you, you ground that out and then you, you check with your test light so this is our, uh, should be our water temperature gauge. And you could check either side of that and you get your blinking like you're supposed to. And then here is our oil. So that's our oil pressure. And again, you can, you can check either side of that and you get your blinking. And we didn't have anything for our uh, fuel um, because the gauge was no good. So we ended up, we, we, uh, when I when I tested this, there was no blinking, so that tells me that the gauge isn't any good. So we changed out the gauge, and now get a good connection there, and now we have our blinking on uh, either side. So before we uh, put this back in, now's a good time to check all of our bulbs here, and uh, turn our lights on and see which bulbs are working and which ones need to be replaced. So we're just going to replace those bulbs, make sure they're all working, and then uh, reinstall the gauge cluster in the dash. Finished result is, is that uh, we got all our gauges are working here. We got uh, our temp gauge is showing some temperature. Our alternator gauge was always working. Our fuel gauge is working again. Our oil gauge is working. The accessory ones over here, uh, the temperature gauge, I think is broken. It's gonna have to be replaced, but we've got oil pressure on the oil. So uh, everything's all good.